becomes very easy all right okay so the material exchange becomes very easy so uh, capillary cells are just uh, one cell thick and uh, capillary cells are just one cell thick and there is space uh, we call the inter intercellular space between the um, partic uh, sorry intercellular spells space between the endothelial cells of the capillary so that material exchange can easily occur okay so oxygen can get from here to here then carbon dioxide from here to here okay now why is the vein thin okay why is the vein so much thin first of all um, okay not today i will discuss about the thickness of the vein later and we will have some more contents in our later classes okay that's all for today i hope you will understand all the contents and and still if you in have if you have any problem please inform me by commenting in the comment section below this video and i will try to solve it individually one by one okay thank you okay hello everyone so today uh, we are here oh, sorry for that today we are here for our uh, biology class um, i think hopefully we were doing uh, transporting mammals one of my favorite chapter as far as I remember mm, okay so we have studied about the diagram of the heart so let's have a review and then uh, let's have a review of the last class and then let's go ahead okay so uh, in our last class we have studied that heart heart has got um, like this 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 okay so like this all right <coughs> So heart has got four chambers and uh, the this chamber we call the right atrium isn't it the upper chambers these two upper chambers we call the atrium okay and this one and this one the lower chamber we are calling it as what we are calling it as ventricles so the upper chambers are the atrium and the lower chambers are the ventricles okay okay so this side is the left uh, right side of the heart and this side is the left side of the heart okay oh it's so much enjoying that walking and teaching on online i like it okay it doesn't matter whether i like it or not so we have got to know about the left side and the right side of the heart and the chambers of the heart the left atrium the right atrium then the left ventricle and the right ventricle okay so let's draw another heart i mean for studying biology okay something is disturbing me uh, where is black? Here it is. Okay. What is this? Okay. So this is the heart. okay so now look <coughs> as far as we have learned 
that heart uh, inside the heart that we have